Greetings, soul siblings. It's Teela here. Welcome to another video. Today, I am going to share some products I received from Cave of the Dark Mothers. I have done a review previously, but they are truly amazing, and I received more blessings and gifts from them, and I just have to share it with all of you guys. Before I jump into the video itself, I just want to let you know the reason why I haven't done anything recently is I got the hay flu. It just happens every single fall. I have horrible allergies, and it is what it is and I just couldn't get to it. Um, plus, I had bookings for days with tarot appointments. I did like 13 or 14 total for like one week, which is quite a bit. Um, thankfully to the spirits to make sure that I am being taken care of financially. So I'm very grateful for all of them that I work with. And I will also be doing a video, my next one, on why you cannot remove your chakras. And to kind of give a clarity of what a chakra really is, we'll be talking about it reflecting to your emotional bodies, to your glands, the alchemy behind it, um, the energy and the science that has already been proven in the study that physicists performed. And all of that will be in my next video. So make sure that you are subscribed and hit that bell for future notifications so you can get and see that video when it comes out. Um, now to the fun stuff. So as I'm wearing right here, actually I probably will take it off just to kind of show you guys. I, this is the first time I've took it off. I already feel so naked. Okay. This beautiful, beautiful piece was already um, blessed, uh, like worked with Lilith. Um, it's like made out of like obsidian stone and um, some other type of stone, I believe. But it's absolutely beautiful. And I've gotten prayer beads and all that from them before. And everything they make, they, they know how, like, what's visually appealing to me. And then the energy, because they do rituals, spells, like, their products are more than just products. These are really dedicated magicians, mystics, that really put their energy and their dedication into their workings. So I really love um, getting all of it, because you can really receive the energy and tap into what they have done to help you with your personal spiritual path. Um, they gave me some roots, which also help with prosperity, and that's been working along with my spirits. Um, I think one's a peony root and a jizable root. Um, but yeah, they're both for like to help with prosperity, to track people of like wealth or something like that. Like they're really good in, I believe this one, which I believe is the peony, or I can't remember which is which. Um, yeah, it is like it can help remove hexes and like stir away like bad luck and make it more good and beneficial for you. So if you don't have a local witch shop by you or you just have a regular kind of like new age shop where they really don't sell you like any hoodoo or stuff like that, that's really beneficial for this type of work. They do sell these products like you can definitely go onto their website. I will link that down below where you can find all of this. It is absolutely amazing for resources to gain. And I will also link their Facebook business page as well. Um, and then I got this. I believe it's an incense holder. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, Lilith is the main goddess I work with. Literally, this home I am sitting in, being able to be independent, the fact that I feel mentally, truly happy, like I came out of a severe depression, and now I am spiritually evolving, I am connecting with people on different levels, and I am in a place of safe security, I have even found a person that I really deeply care for relationship-wise, like I have so many blessings, and so much that has happened that just continues to like flow that I, am, I have many reasons to be grateful, honestly. But Lilith is the reason that pushed me out of a toxic situation, put me where I am today. And my relationship with her has only gotten deeper and closer every day as I work with her. So I owe her everything. So I have her own, so I have multiple altars, but she has her own that is dedicated. And this was just a beautiful addition to it. And that's why they give me um, 
or addition. <laughs> don't, I don't know what to tell you guys. My language, I telling you. But then a lot of the stuff is inspired about Lilith, including these candles. Now I've showed you guys before in a review video about them. Um, some of the candle that I received last time. And they do still do the like herbal mixes into it. Like to get it prepared so that way it creates an inviting environment with the spirit you are going to work with. In this case, these are dedicated to Lilith. Um, here's the image on this one. Here's this. So the imagery is not just absolutely beautiful and powerful and has like the sigils on it. But the interesting thing about the way they do it is they already created these images and like they've connected to Lilith onto like the astral realm. So if you meditate and channel through these images, it will help you greatly during your ritual working with her and creating that bond. So these are not just pretty smelling good candles, which they are. They're also a very great aid into your ritual working. Next, I have some oil. So as witches, magicians, sorcerers, all kinds, however you represent, we all love our oils, right? We use them to bless items. We use them to anoint ourselves before performing a specific ritual. Um, we use them to create intent during spells. Like they have many purposes. And this one, of course, is gonna be for the mother Lilith. And just kind of show you guys what it looks like. And then it comes into this where you can squeeze it out. So it gives you, allows you to kind of measure how much you want to use without it being overly excessive or not enough. So I really like the way it is put into this product. I love that it's in glass and the type of pump like it's kind of used. Like it's a really great casing for the oil. The next product I have here that I am using like insane. It's actually made out of like mixed with like human rain, human remains. Um, I believe it was lilies, um, some graveyard remains. Yeah, I, I don't remember if I remember everything, but that's pretty much just like a mixture of stuff. And it makes a true authentic Florida water. Um, what is used to help cleanse, purify, remove toxicities out of your chakras. It has helped to protect you. And when I first used this stuff, which is here's what it looks like. It comes in to this beautiful type of bottle slash kind of jar looking thing. It comes with a nice handle. Um, I put it onto my chakras and I could not believe the fact that I was feeling the power come through instantly. Like I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to meditate. Like it was there. Like, and I messaged them and told them about that. And they're like, yeah, it was a lot of hard work to make this come to be, right? So this wasn't some easy overnight product or some person that tried it just to hack it and call it Florida water. Like this is genuine. And when I used it, like it's been very helpful towards why I'm learning my Ricky work as well. So I can help healing. It's also helping me not to carry too much um, links that I'm connecting when I do readings for other people. So this is becoming like part of my daily practice. I will eventually need more as it will run out. This is something that I am a huge fan of. I love it. Um, and I can't remember how it smells. Oh, and it smells good too. So, you know, who knew? Human remains, delicious, right? Just kidding. I just like to sound edgy sometimes. <laughs> and the next product here we have is my favorite piece. This, so I've had statues in the past, but I've never been able to get one just for Lilith. Um, why? I don't know. There was like, I, I got other things. I got like little dragon pieces. I dried out like a rose for her. I got a painting, hand painted, but for some reason I didn't get a statue. And now I'm really grateful I didn't because one was gifted to me, which is not just more important, like that connection that, that it was like made with me and the intent with the uh, mind inset, you know what I mean? Um, so to me, that makes it more of a genuine connection to this piece and being added to my altar. But it's also really beautiful. So what they do with their statues and how they make them and 
This will all be found on their website, by the way, so you can look into purchasing one yourself. So they use a 3D printer, and then they go in and hand paint it, right? So there's a lot of magic behind it when you're painting and creating, and they're putting that effort into it. So I am super excited to show you this. So here is my little statue. And another reason why I like the fact that it's made out of 3D printer, I actually like the material. It's not heavy. Um, I feel like it makes that for a little bit more reason, more durable. I actually, when I was moving my Balfament statue, sadly, um, one of the little horns broke and I wrapped it up. I did things to protect it. Clearly, not enough. Um, so it did break during moving. And something like this, I feel like just protecting it normally will be enough. I And like I said, I like how it feels, how light it is. But yeah, it is just gorgeous. And it really looks very well on my altar. Like it matches with everything. The snake, the hand paint, like look how good they did, right? And I really feel that Lilith loves all of this. Like when I put it there and I did a ritual, she came right through. And it just seemed like she really appreciated that this was all set for her. Um, and deities do like it. Like deities like to, so me, I personally choose to worship. I'm not saying you have to. This is just the way I work. And Lilith really loves her offering. She loves the things, the dedication, the time I spent with her through um, communication, um, through channeling, and all these various ways that I work with her. Like, she really appreciates that, and so do other spirits. Like, you're taking the time. Like, they're giving. They're helping you. You got to recognize what they're doing. Um, you don't have to worship, but it really, that devoting your time and effort to them is something that I feel is well worth doing. Um, another thing about them, like, they have a Facebook group where they teach, and you can learn various things. You can also find their Facebook business page. I'll be linking the, that all information down below. I also want to talk about one more thing, which is actually a website. So this is not their website where they sell products. This is actually someone, um, I believe the one that started all of this and created, and there, there's multiple mystics and all of that in this organization. So let me go ahead and pull up that website. It'll only take a minute. My phone is a little bit slow, so I appreciate your patience. So I'm just scrolling down on Facebook. Here it is. So what it is, is a website called, um, or part of their title is Temple of the Dark Mothers. The rest I cannot pronounce. So we're just going to keep it at that. But I will link it down below. And here's what it looks like right here. And... They are very eclectic, taking in various traditions with an open mind. Um, it does seem to have a focus point on like Kabbalah, <laughs> the Kabbalah teachings, Gnosticism, and experiential knowledge, which is gaining Gnosis through the experience with the deities themselves and your spell work. So it's very powerful. It's a very eclectic group. Um, so something I really appreciate and really find refreshing. That is something I've always strived to kind of bring a diversity in and they are really are achieving it. On top of that, they have a page. It's just called studies and you can do a lot of research there. They have coursework like they have. So they have the initiate training um, and it's just kind of little versions you click on. It tells you, um, just like, oh, the lighting might not work. Okay, guys, sorry. My light doesn't allow you to see it. Um, and then they have like adapt training. So it's like Gnosticism study guide, meditation study guide, um, Kabbalah study, Kabbalah and Kundalini, Tarot and Hebrew paths. Um, and then they have like different rituals and it's just really useful, you know, especially if you're just trying to get introductions onto information or just expand your own knowledge. This is a really great resource to check out. So I really do recommend that as well. Everything they do and they are associated with, they have my full support. Um, and I'm also going to be part of it and working with them more deeply here in the future. So I'm really excited and honored about that as well. Anyways, thank you every thank you all. <laughs> Let me just 
trying to fix that there, <laughs> uh, for watching and infernal blessings. And I look forward to our chakra video here in the near future.